Welcome back to the Lemon Factor, and welcome to beautiful Colorado. My name's Chad, and I'm headed to the gas station with one of our two project cars, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And I will be filling it up with 87 octane. Yes, 87, not 91, not 93, but I have a reason for that. I'm filling it up with 87 octane so that I can then take it to the dyno and test the car to get our new baseline here in Denver, Colorado. So we recently moved from Boston to Denver and because of that I've changed dynos and I need to redo my baseline so I have accurate initial numbers for comparison purposes as we add on our K-Tuner Stage 2, our Farable Stage 3, if we go for a custom tune, if we add any additional mods, which we will, I'd like to know exactly what our new baseline here with this new dyno provider. And by the way, they're both dyno jets, so like for like, it'll be interesting to see exactly how the two dynos compare. And once we're done with the 87 dyno run, we're going to fill it up with 91. We're gonna see how much additional horsepower, if any, we produce with 91 octane. So I've done the 87 versus the 93 in Boston at sea level, and that was interesting. And if you haven't taken a look at that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But soon I'll be doing a 91 octane. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of dynos that actually show 91 baseline power. Again, this is all stock. This is for our baseline. So we'll do 91 and then we'll go from there. So if you're interested in finding out how much horsepower to the wheels and otherwise stock 10th generation Honda Accord 2.0 Touring makes, then stay tuned. Remember, in addition to this dyno pole on 87 octane, we will be doing 91 octane. I will be putting further modifications on the car, dyno testing them, comparing them to our baseline runs here. So if you're interested in finding out how much horsepower certain modifications make on your 10th generation Honda Accord, then please consider subscribing. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry for the interruption. This will only take a minute. I have some really exciting news to share with you for a limited time only. I will pay for your car to be dynoed. So if you have a car and it doesn't have to be an ND, Mazda, MX-5, Miata, does not have to be a 10th generation Honda Accord, but if you have a car and you're in the Denver metro area and you'd like to get together and you'd like to put your car on the DinoJet Dino and run up to you know three pulls on your car, no tuning, we're just seeing how much horsepower and how much torque your car produces. If you're interested, then shoot me an email. You can find my contact information on the channel page. I have an email address located, let's go find it here, right around here. Send me an email. Let me know a little bit about yourself. Let me know a little bit about your car, the modifications, why you want to put your car on the dyno. And yeah, then hopefully we can get together. So again, limited time only. If you're interested, shoot me an email and hopefully we can get together. See, it wasn't long. 
With that said, I will return you back to the video. So we just got back from the dyno. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed by the relative consistency between the DinoJet dyno I used to go to in Massachusetts and the DinoJet dyno that I go to here in Denver. So we got our numbers now with the 87 octane. As Soon as I drain that gas out, I will put in 91 octane. We'll test that out. So again, if you're interested in seeing the comparison between the two, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And then I am going to add on the K-Tuner Stage 2, the Faribault Stage 3, running 91 octane. So what I will find interesting is how does 91 tune compare to the 93 tune? How much horsepower do you actually lose by going from 93 to 91? Or for those of you in the third of the United States who only have access to 91 as the highest octane, how much are you giving up by not having 93? So that'll be really interesting to find out. And then of course there I do plan, of course from there, I do plan on adding additional modifications. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go directly to a custom tune. So progressing from stage two to stage three, maybe I'll go to the flex fuel Maybe I'll go to a custom tune. Um, maybe I'll test out some air intakes, things of that nature. But if you have a preference, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. But I can't wait to get this on the track too. So I'm, I'm anxious, but I wanna get those baseline dyno numbers uh, completed so we have some good information to compare to. So with that said, thank you for joining and until next time.